that's why I'm hosting a singles mix and mingle on Valentine's Day. Because even if it means you just get dressed up and have a cheeky little cocktail while doing some mingling, that is so much more fun. Men don't go to these. Seems like modern women are trying hard. They are keen to have men showing up at single events, but it's getting harder to get men interested in these types of settings. And there are many reasons for that. I have spoken to a lot of guys and read articles about why men are no longer interested in showing up in these events, and I will talk about the most common reasons in this video. If you're single and don't have plans for Valentine's Day, what we're not going to do this year is feel sorry for ourselves. What we are going to do is take action. That's why I'm hosting a singles mix and mingle on Valentine's Day. Because even if it means you just get dressed up and have a cheeky little cocktail while doing some mingling, that is so much more fun than sitting home feeling sorry for yourself. Not to mention, we've had multiple people find their boyfriends and girlfriends at past dating events. So there's actual success to actually going out and putting yourself in a position to meet new people. Even if you're already booed up, send this to a single friend, a single sibling. Let them know this is going to be the event for Valentine's Day at one of the hottest new spots in the city. And I can't wait to see all of you cuties there. Men don't go to these. Men do not go to singles events. Stop paying money to go to singles events. Men don't go. Stop it. So I have to cancel the singles event that I planned to be on my farm this weekend. Men don't enjoy just standing around talking like women do. So that's why I chose fishing as the predominant activity. And yet they still didn't want to come. So I would love to hear from you all as to why you think men don't attend singles events. It's nice to see modern women still organizing this type of event, but this is a gathering that most men are no longer interested in, and this is why. The most common reason most guys are not going is that most of them claim they realize that these events are meant for a specific type of man only. They notice that most single modern women attending aren't there because they want to see and talk to the average guy. They are expecting the six feet chads to be present, and this is where it gets interesting as they are not aware that chads don't go to these events as they already have lots of women to choose from. Thus, they wouldn't pay to go to an event to meet women. But what would make them think that Chad, who has a large pool of women to choose from, would feel the need to go to this type of event? It doesn't make sense. The sad part about this situation is when the average guy attends these events. A lot of them claim that once there they feel like they are in the wrong place, most modern women gravitate to one or two six feet guys who show up and the rest of them are ignored throughout the all thing. Also, while reading about this, one guy mentioned that on one occasion when he attended this single event, there was a group of women talking about the lack of men. They mentioned that they wished other guys would show up. Meanwhile, those guys were there, but it's like single modern women couldn't see them. They were invisible. From that experience alone, he decided that it was no longer the type of environment he would place himself in. Then modern women ask why men no longer attend this event. The other common reason is the fact that the single women who attend those events are the same modern women with unrealistic expectations they talk to on social media and dating apps. So what is the point of paying to be connected to the same people they can meet using free methods like bars, restaurant, and dating app? As a man, imagine paying to go to a place where women present will evaluate you to check whether you qualify or not to talk to her, and those who didn't meet their standards will automatically know that they shouldn't approach them. Again. What is the point of going to that event? Initially, a single event was a good environment where single people used to participate to connect and maybe find their significant other. But with time, it changed, and now it's flooded with single modern women who already had their fun and are ready to settle, but are struggling to find men due to their unrealistic expectations, and they go to these events looking for a good guy to settle with. This was also a popular reason a lot of guys are no longer interested in going to a single event. As they are not simps, they have decided to remove themselves from that type of gathering. Most guys who are looking to find someone for a genuine connection are avoiding single events because they realize that single modern women use these events like a shopping day, and this is something they are not okay with. I like the way things are going. It will send an indirect but clean message to modern women. Now they are aware that things are no longer the same. We are slowly waking up and realizing that we can do better. And there are better places to meet women who have a genuine desire to build a deep connection, an ideal to start a family with. Now modern women will have to do better if they want men to engage in such events. This is a good dynamic, as it will push modern women to improve and make necessary changes to attract us back to a similar setting.
There is a guy who wrote about his experience after going to different type of events. He noticed that the majority of people showing up were women, regardless of whether it was a single event or not. He noticed that men literally are no longer interested in those types of settings. Let's check what he has to say. Where are the men at planned events? So this has come up a few times among different friends in recent weeks. We all know it is great to meet people while doing things you already enjoy. But we never see many men out and about at events. To start, a few weeks ago, I went on a bar crawl, fundraiser. There were around 40 participants. All women, save two men. One came with a partner. The other guy cleaned up. He had his pick of the entire crowd to flirt with. And he did get talked to everyone and picked some favorites. A few weeks ago, a hip coffee shop had a speed dating event, open to all genders and sexual orientations. I saw the photos on their Instagram. In a crowd of around 50 folks, I saw two men. This week, I went to a concert in a mid-sized venue Masego. While R and B concerts tend to skew female, it seems Masego is equally popular with men and women. This crowd, 75% women, and I didn't see any men, not in a couple. Obviously, I didn't see everyone. I am sure there must have been some somewhere. But the section I was in seated general admission was overwhelmingly female. And I was traveling and hanging out with an old friend in New York City. She used to purposely go to all sorts of events to meet new people and prospective partners. She is burned out now. She has plenty of friends and there are not any prospective partners at these events. She is over it. I am also in a lot of Facebook and social media travel groups. And every time there is a group trip, the crowd is around 85% female. Anyway, it seems like any straight men who show up could have their pick of people to get to know. What gives? There are posts here all the time about not being able to meet women. And the women are out and about around town, meeting each other because they are the only ones there. It seems gay men go out a lot more often than their straight peers, at least in my circles. Note, only one of these events was a single thing. Everything else was just a random social outing. No singles or any angle. Just stuff I got tickets for to hang out with friends. Before reading this post, I didn't know that this was happening in another gathering. I thought that it was happening only in single events. It shows how serious things are getting. It's nice to see that more men are opening their eyes to reality. It's better to chase our success and better interests than go after modern women. As they always say, if you go after success, you will never have issues when it comes to finding women. But if you dedicate your time and resources to go after women, you will definitely lose money in the process and your success rate won't be as good as the guy who spent his time to become wealthy. It also shows that men are slowly understanding that they shouldn't use these types of events to find a partner as they contain a small number of prospects and it will be difficult to find what we are looking for. We need to have a wider pool to increase the chance to find the type of women we want. Also, we can't forget that most women going to these events are really picky and entitled. Most of them are still single for a reason which could be due to their unrealistic expectations. So imagine being in a place where you have limited options and those options are picky. We already know that the success rate at these places is really low. So, what is the point of attending those events? The best part of these events is that most of them only charge men, which means that men have to pay to get rejected. This is not a good game plan. This is all for today's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.